Alright, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the Celestron Power Seeker 80 EQ Refractor Telescope that I picked up from opticsplanet.com. Uh, one of the uh, sales representatives uh, was nice enough to give me a $13 discount on it. Uh, it was selling for about $129.99 and I got $13. Uh, off of that, so it was like $16, $116.99 plus. I got free shipping on that, which was like about five days of shipping. And um, so I, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of footage of my amateur first time uh, using it. I didn't do a video on unboxing it or uh, setting it up. I will say that it was kind of a pain to get set up and if you go with the one with the motor drive that thing is useless. If you're a newbie and never used a telescope before you probably won't need the motor drive because you can just use the little these, these little knobs that you can turn manually and crank it to get your 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 whatever it is I don't even know what they are I'm not a expert at, at astronomy or anything like that I'm just an amateur who wants to have fun check out the planets and you know have a good time and uh, who knows maybe I'll see something that uh, will be a once in a lifetime thing that uh, only people with telescopes will see now I want to say that I've had this for less than a day uh, at the time of this video so um, take what I say uh, as a as a, as a advice from a newbie's perspective when using this telescope. So, like I said, I, I admit I'm a newbie. I don't know anything about telescopes. I can't give you advice on telescopes. I went with the Selectron Power Seeker ADEQ Refractor Telescope uh, because I got sold on the reviews that people had uh, given the product. And I'm actually looking at it right now. So, if you're wondering why I'm looking over there, it's because I'm actually looking at the product. Um, so I, I checked out the moon. It is at, it was actually uh what is it uh do, 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 April thirteenth, twenty sixteen. I believe it's April fourteenth, twenty sixteen now. If I'm not mistaken. Uh yes. Yeah, so it's the fourteenth of April, twenty sixteen, and um. So, this telescope um is really not the easiest to use I would say I mean maybe some of you guys will have better luck than I had I'm still getting used to it so it's taking a little time I will just say that it's it's probably a little advanced from the telescopes that I came from because it didn't have like these little knobs where you, you have to you know turn it and tilt it and to make it tilt and you know make it uh, rotate and make it do rotations and stuff like that so if you want it to tilt kind of like this way it, you have to crank it so that it tilts and then if you want it to um, I, I don't even know um, but there are these little sh things that you have to kind of turn and um, that that is that is a that is a huge uh, issue for a newbie I mean I guess if you're you're a professional at, at telescopes uh, you probably wouldn't want this anyways because you probably got something better um, but yeah that that the, the the actual setup of this thing was pretty I wouldn't say it was too hard. I was a little confused and I'm still a little not too sure if I have it set up correctly. It works. Uh uh on the thirteenth of April I, I went outside and it was pretty cloudy outside so I didn't get to have too much fun. I'm actually looking to get some other stuff. Um something to get my phone. I got a I got a phone here um that um i'm trying to get a there's a little um clamp that you can get for your tell for your telescope or scopes and you put your phone on it and you get your lens your little camera lens um over the over the eyepiece of your telescope and it clamps onto the little eyepiece and then you get it nicely centered and then you can take pictures and video of you know your space uh stuff that you're seeing and you know, upload it to YouTube and stuff or your Facebook or whatever, or just documentary for yourself. Um, I will say that I got a great, a really great view of the moon. It was pretty amazing. Uh, it was a little complicated getting it uh, to target. I think if I ever go with another telescope, I will probably get one of those telescopes that uh, 
you push a little you, you search for the you search for the planet and it'll just use GPS to to see where you are and then rotate your telescope in the direction of where that planet is and a lot of people who are advanced in astronomy don't I I heard don't like those telescopes because it cheats the the thing um but I'm just somebody who wants to like you know check out the planet see what's going on and um it's a little complicated however I did get this app I got this cool app my friend actually told me to to look up on Google so my advice to you guys is is Look on Google, or if you got an Android phone, if you got an Android phone, there's this app, and I don't know if it'll still be there when you when you come to this video, but it's called Sky Map, I think it is Sky Map, and um, it basically uh, I'm trying to find it on my phone here. Um, that will allow you to um, see the see the planets and stuff. So this is what the app looks like right here. Hopefully, my camera is picking that up. So hopefully my camera is picking up what uh, what's on my phone. So as you can see here, you just aim your phone in the direction of where you are, and it works better outside. Hit my microphone, sorry. So you aim your phone in the direction of where you are, and it'll locate those planets that are that are lo that are by you. So Saturn and Jupiter are over. <laughs> are in a spot where I can't see them sadly. So hopefully my phone was hopefully you guys were able to see that with the with the phone. It's a really cool app. I mean there's probably some other ones that you guys can actually get. Uh but it was a great app for newbies like myself who don't know where the planets are and want to find them. Sadly Ju uh Jupiter is actually above my house surprisingly. So I can I can barely I believe tonight uh last night well actually it was this morning cuz it's already 3 o'clock in the morning when I'm doing this video. So I got to see a little bit of Jupiter. Um, it was a faint uh, white dot. Um, I still need to probably learn to focus or something like that with the with the zooms. You can pull the telescope out, the little scope. It comes out when you roll the, the wheels towards the back where the eyepiece is. Um, that's a great thing if you want to get a close up of the moon and see the craters and stuff. You use that little wheel, and you can you can get a close up. But if you go too far, then you'll blur it out, and you won't be able to see the moon too good. Um, so Saturn, I haven't got to see Saturn yet, and I really haven't got to see any any other planets. Um, sadly, because um, April thirteenth, twenty sixteen's uh, weather was not with me um, that day, so. I'll have to try um, maybe tonight if the weather is good and we don't have cloudy skies here in, here in Florida. So anyways, that, yeah, so I didn't get to see Saturn and I don't know if I'll ever get to see Saturn because um, it's it's like um, that way, this this way. I don't, I don't even know how to, I think it's west or yeah, I think it's, no, I think it's east of me, southeast, southeast, southeast I think is where it was the, uh, I don't know if I don't know if we if the planets ever like <laughs> ever move around us. So I don't know if like Saturn will be north one day, or if it's always going to stay in the same location that it's always in uh, when we're spinning when the planet is spinning. I don't know too much about um, whole space thing and stuff like that. So I don't know if we ever if it'll ever get close or not to see it. Um, Jupiter, I got to see, I didn't get to see Pluto. Um, I didn't really get to see any good planets. I mean, I got a good look at the moon. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I really didn't get to see anything good, uh, where I live, uh, because of the fact that, uh, mainly because of trees and houses and stuff like that are blocking my view. So I really need to go out to a open area that, uh, that I can set it up on. And I, and, and, and I forgot to mention, like a lot of people have said about this telescope, which I should have said before, is this telescope is basically got stubby legs. The, the aluminum legs has me kind of scared that, um, they will, they will possibly fail under, under, in, 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 in due time. And there's this little, there's this little ring thing, um, that um, your tray sits on, your accessory tray, that thing kind of has me kind of concerned because um, I unfortunately have to carry my telescope from one side of the house to the other to take it out the back door, and that becomes a little bit of a problem. It's about 20 pounds, so I have to carry 20 pounds from about for about eh, 20 feet or so, 30 or 40 feet, and set it up out there, and <laughs> and then uh, 
move it around whenever I because it doesn't. It's not like these old telescopes. A lot of you guys that are familiar with these old ones that uh, you you just simply you know aim your telescope where you want it to look, and that's what you wanted to do. This thing is more uh, more advanced. I think it's it's more advanced than my telescopes in my days. Never had a balanced weight on them. It didn't have like this weight, a block of weight that uh, balances the telescope and stuff. Um, but the legs, I don't really like the legs on this. They're they're actually the biggest con um, for the telescope itself. Um, the next con I would say is the little uh, sight on it. There's a little sight that goes on the top of the telescope that. Uh, <laughs> It's really cheap. I mean, the telescope itself is cheap plastic. It really is. The only thing that's actually made with quality, surprisingly, is is the weight and the uh, the um, what do you call it? The little uh, mount. There's this little rod mount, and it, that's the only thing that's made with really with quality. The rest of it is all plastic, and uh, of course, there's a couple of metal pieces. Of course, I mean, I shouldn't say it's all. The little rod that goes on the weight. Basically, the whole rod uh, that the weight goes on is is like I think metal or steel. Um, and then there's this little thing, uh, a little rotating thing which is metal and two, and and I think it's something else. But anyways, yeah, I'm going into a whole rant on that. It, it, would I recommend it? I, I probably would. I actually do recommend it. Um, just just uh, just be prepared for. Um, yeah, the, the downfall of the legs. I mean, I think the legs are the biggest con of them all. Uh, those legs kind of have me worried because if you if you put too much pressure on it or somebody steps on it, it's going to break the legs and they'll bend in the, your... I don't even know if you can buy a new leg for them or not. Um, maybe you can buy them from, uh, from uh, Selectron, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but anyways... Yeah, so I'll show you guys some video footage uh, of me <laughs> playing, you know, trying out uh, my phone with my uh, my uh, telescope, my Selectron uh, Power Seeker 80, 80 EQ refractor telescope. So you guys can see it's not the best quality, uh, but you know, I just wanted to try it out and see how it works. I'm gonna get me a little clip to clip my phone onto the, the little eyepiece of the telescope so I can have it steady and have it directly looking in the lens so I'm not moving around and stuff like that. So it's got a nice little thing. There's a nice little clamp that you can get for your phone. And yeah. So I'll show you guys some pictures and some video footage of my amateur moon uh, stocking or observing, I guess you could say, uh, for what little fun I got to have. I got bit up by mosquitoes. I got bit up by mosquitoes, and I'll probably wake up with probably West Nile virus or some type of flu or something from getting, getting bit by tons of mosquitoes, or I'm going to be itching like crazy tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, I definitely got bit up by mosquitoes um, this morning when I was outside, and I just I finally just gave up and came inside. Um, but, yeah, definitely, definitely go with a refractor, though. Uh, my dad actually recommended me to go with a refractor, and I did a lot of research on refractors, and refractors appear to be the the best telescopes that you can go with um, for looking for getting a clear picture of stuff. And I mean, I was really amazed by the quality of the moon, like the amount of like clarity that I had seeing the moon and seeing the craters on it and stuff. And it it's going to be interesting. I can't wait to see what the moon will look like on a full moon, and I get a full picture of the moon because right now it's only like a I think it's like a quarter moon right now, I think is what it is on for today and yesterday. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the uh, the amateur video I, I tried to take with, of the moon and some of the pictures I'll share with you guys. All right, so here's the telescope, guys. Telescope looks like pretty cool. It's about as tall as I am.
Here we go, guys. Picture of the moon with my new telescope. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get it balanced. There we go. I'm trying to get it balanced on the eyepiece of the telescope here. So hang on. There we go. It's a little cloudy tonight. You see some of the clouds over the sky. It's not a full moon tonight. Recording this with my Nexus 6 over the eyepiece of this um, telescope. Need to get a little cover that I clamp on the eyepiece of the telescope and keep my phone uh, perfectly steady. I'm starting to lose coverage here. Oh, I think we lost. Nope. There we go. I'm shaking a little bit, so yeah. Yeah, the moon's starting to get covered by clouds again. I really apologize for the quality of that, but just trying this out with the with the phone. There we go. Trying to get the. Trying to get the lens. There we go. Had it again. Keeps moving, keeps going out. <laughs> sorry about that. Apologize. I know I keep saying I'm sorry, but really I'm sorry. So I just need to get this thing for my uh, phone so I can put it over this eyepiece, like I said. So that's pretty much what I'll show you. I'll do another video.